everybody and welcome to the presentation of our short paper contribution to middle 2020 on learning-based medical image registration using displacement embeddings. My name is Lasse Hansen and this is a joint work with my supervisor Matthias Heinrich. We are from the Institute of Medical Informatics at the University of Lübeck and Lübeck is hosting the next middle and we are looking forward to seeing as many of you as possible in 2021. Deep learning based registration has tremendous potential for real-time applications in image-guided diagnostics, interventions and therapy. Conventional registration frameworks, as seen here on the right, typically need a large number of iterations to optimize the target metric. Feedforward convolutional networks also need a large number of iterations to optimize the target metric during training, but are very fast at inference and can reduce computation times from minutes to seconds. We would further expect an increased registration accuracy by unsupervised learning given a lot of images or supervised learning given expert annotations such as organ segmentations. However, often deep learning approaches still fall behind conventional registration frameworks, especially for applications where large deformations exist such as registration of interpatient abdominal MRI or inhale to exhale CT lung registration. Most current work on deep learning based registration use unit-like architectures to predict dense displacement fields from the input, input images, but we believe that the unit architecture itself to some level limits the ability to predict large deformations and therefore build on the ideas of the probabilistic dense displacement network of Heinrich that explicitly evaluates the displacement space for a dense grid of points using a correlation layer. The computation of a dense displacement space is very memory intensive and in this work we lay the groundwork to limit the computational burden by sampling key points that form an irregular grid and predict the final registration from a low dimensional embedding of the displacement maps. Our proposed network architecture is depicted in this slide. First, dense features are extracted from both the fixed and the moving image using a lightweight CNN. In the fixed image, features are sparsely sampled at descriptive key points that are extra extracted using the first operator. The sampled features in the fixed image are compared with displaced feature patches in the moving image, building up a feature displacement map that is finally mapped to a low dimensional feature embedding. The final displacement vectors are then computed from the regularized embedding. And to get a dense displacement field from the sparse predictions, we use the thin plate spline interpolation. Experiments are carried out on inhale to exhale CT lung registration. And as this short paper is mainly a proof of concept for the irregular key point registration and the idea of displacement embeddings, we make some simplifications in our experiments. As a feature extraction network, we use a pre-trained network that predicts mind-like descriptors. We sample approximately 1,500 key points and the displacement search space is 21 voxels in each image dimension. The displacement maps are mapped to a PCA embedding and we employ Laplacian diffusion on the feature embeddings to regularize the displacement field. We compared our method to several other deep learning methods on the DLAP 40CT and COPD gene datasets showing an improved target registration error in a single forward path through our architecture at inference times of under two seconds. Using a uniform sampling of grid points instead of distinctive key points extracted with the first operator performed consistently worse in all our experiments, which further validates our concept of irregular key point registration. In ongoing work, we replaced the PCA embedding by a learning approach and the Laplacian diffusion regularization by a graph CNN that exploits the geometric structure of the key point graph. We further introduce a way to employ a dense image-based supervision for end-to-end -end learning and can currently report state-of-the-art results for deep learning-based registration on the DLAP datasets. Before I finish my presentation, I'd like to invite everyone from the field of medical image registration to participate in the learn to rec challenge we are currently organizing for this year's Mikai conference. You can find all information on the challenge website and we are looking forward to your submissions.